Hi, I'm Brittany, and this is my channel, Beautifully Made, where I explore different types of crafts and efficient techniques on how to complete those crafts. Today, we're going to look at an app called Pattern Keeper. This is an app for cross-stitching. When you open it up, you'll want to select this little plus sign in the bottom right-hand corner to upload any cross-stitching patterns that you have. If you are using a heaven and earth design pattern, you will be prompted with a question asking if you would like to remove the overlap. You want to select yes. Whenever you open up your pattern, it should look something like this. This is the entire pattern. Each one of these white boxes is one page. So this pattern is four and a quarter pages across and four and a quarter pages down. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the first page. As you zoom in, the symbols will start to fill in. There we go. On the far right side are a list of all of your symbols found across the entire pattern. Next to each symbol is a DMC thread number. And next to each symbol is also the DMC thread color. All the way down here, that's all of them. If you look up at the top, these are your navigation tools. What we have selected right now, which is highlighted in this gray color, is your moving tool. When you're ready to move your pattern across the page or zoom in or zoom out, you wanna go ahead and select that. When you're ready to search for a symbol, you're gonna select the search button right there and tap on a symbol and it's going to highlight that symbol in green. If for some reason you can't find a symbol over here in the symbol chart, you can just tap on the symbol on the actual page and it'll search for it. If you'd like to see um, where the symbol is found across the entire pattern, you're just gonna tap on this little moving tool, zoom out, and everything that you see highlighted in green is that specific symbol that we can have a good idea of where it's at. Let's go ahead and zoom back in. When you're ready to start marking your progress, you're gonna to wanna to select this highlight tool right here and tap on the stitches that you've completed. As you tap, you can see this purple border pop up. Now you can tap each stitch as you do it, or you can hold down or drag your stylus or your finger across the area, and that will also highlight them as well. So whenever you're ready to mark your progress, you're gonna tap this little check mark, and it's gonna color them in. If you have a large area, maybe you have a whole square of one specific color, you're going to take your finger or your stylist, hold down on one of those symbols, select all unfinished highlighted stitches in square. Okay, so all of the ones in this square I have highlighted and I'm going to mark it's done. Now if you do that, let's say we do that again, you can also select all unfinished highlighted stitches on the page. It's only going to select everything that you've searched for that's highlighted so you can see those purple boxes on the entire page were just selected. So if I zoom out on this entire page, you can see those purple boxes. That's what I'm marking as done. Let's go ahead and zoom back in. Let's say we made a mistake somewhere um, and you need to frog out. You need to do some frogging. Okay, let's say this entire square we messed up. You can go ahead and hold down your stylus like that. Don't forget you need to switch over to your highlight tool right here. Select all finished highlighted stitches in this square. We'll go ahead and select those. And then down here, you'll see this little frog button and we'll frog those out. And now they are still highlighted as green because we still have that searched. Um, if you only have a few stitches that you need to stitch out or frog out, obviously you just tap on them, hit that little frog button. Now, each one of these squares, you can see that green circle there. That's only there because we have searched for that symbol. As soon as we search for a different symbol, it goes away. Now, if you notice, these are solid colors. This is the DMC thread color, and you can't see the symbol underneath. If you want to see the symbol underneath that solid color, you're going to go over here to this gear, to the settings, select Use Translucent Highlights, And now you can see the symbol underneath. So as you continue with your progress, we're just going to highlight a bunch of stuff. We're going to select all unfinished stitches in square. We're going to mark that as done. And I like to use the solod because uh, using the solid color helps me visually 
look at it for some reason. But as you can see, the colors are different. So as you highlight and mark your progress, it's using the DMC thread colors to fill in. So if you're looking at your actual cross stitch and some colors aren't matching up or something looks a little off, you can compare it to this chart right here to see if there's a section you need to frog out. Also, a, another cool little thing about this app is over here on the side, it tells you how many stitches you've stitched today. And it also tells you how many stitches you have stitched out of how many stitches there are total and also a percentage of your progress that you've completed. Um, if you would like, I'm going to go ahead and show you my current progress on a cross stitch pattern I'm currently working on. Um, what you see colored is what I have currently stitched and what you see in white I have not stitched yet. So it's kind of neat to see it as a whole. Hopefully you found this tutorial um, helpful. One other thing I do want to mention before I wrap this up is the parking method. If you are using the parking method and you want to um, note where you're parked at, make sure you select your highlight tool here. We're gonna go ahead and park right here. Um, right there, and instead of clicking the check button, you're gonna select more, and then park thread in whichever corner you park it in. And you'll see a little blue tick mark there. When you've moved that park, you're gonna select that again, hit more, and then hit not parked. And when you're in the zone and you're stitching and you're, you're ready to move across the page or zoom out and you just might do this and you accidentally highlight all of that stuff that you didn't mean to highlight, you're just going to select this clear right there. And then make sure you select your moving tool to zoom out or move across the page as well. Well, again, I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you would like to see any other crafts or techniques, please let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.